Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 7a squared plus 32 equals 7 minus 40a, and we need to solve this by factoring. Well, I want to bring everything together to the left-hand side. So, I'm going to subtract a 7 to both sides and add a 40a to both sides. What happens there? Well, nothing pairs up with the 7a squared, and then the 40a comes down, and then 32 minus a 7 is a 30, 25. <laughs> Got lost in my notes there, equals 0. So, the 7s here cancel, and then 40a's cancel. So now we have a quadratic equal to zero, and we need to solve this. Well, let's go factor it. My a value is seven, which multiplies to be, well, the only two multiples is one, seven. And 25. What two numbers multiply to be 25? Well, that's one and 25, and, well, five and five. That's it. Now, luckily, all of our values are positive, so we're just dealing with positive numbers here. So I have to ask myself, seven times which number here within a pair? plus one times the other number gets us a positive 40. And my first guess really is the fives, uh, fives here. Seven times five is a 35. One times five, one times that five, is a five. We add them together and we get 40, okay? So now we can factor this out. It has to be a seven A here and a one A equals zero. 7a times the 5, it really doesn't matter, but that 5 would go here. And then 1 times the other 5, that 5 would have to go here. So now we have it factored, and we need to solve. We do that by taking each part individually and setting them equal to 0. So 7a plus 5 equals 0, and a plus 5 equals 0. Subtract a 5 to both sides. 7a equals a negative 5. Divide both sides by 7 and a equals a negative 5 sevenths there. Second equation, subtract a 5 to both sides, and a equals a negative 5. We can write this as a single statement, combining the two, negative 5 sevenths, so a equals negative 5 sevenths, and a negative 5, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helped us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.